We're here with the Palace Hesser. Uh, some of you might know him as YouTube Sensation <laughs> after one of the district games. That's all it takes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What's going on here? Coach is like, here, we're going to interview in the Texas Relays. Okay, why not? It's an attitude, it's a mindset. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. You're going to go out there. Okay, so here's the story. You are a winner. It don't matter about the circumstances. The circumstances are irrelevant. It's a mindset, mindset. Whoa. And you can do anything you can mind to. Mind to. Yes, sir, it's my friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. And you can overcome it. You can overcome it. Whoa. You can win. You can, can win. For a while, I was like, Whoa. And honestly, I just want to tell you, harder, harder every day, and I'll, I'll be there. Mindset is the only relevant thing that matters. Welcome back to Run Junkie. Now this week we're going to introduce a new segment we like to call the Bromel Bombshell of the Week, where we highlight everything Trayvon Bromel has done on the track to really explode our eye sockets out. Because this past week in that Texas Relay, he ran 9.90, win aided, but still 9.90, so fast. That guy, he's not just looking for an NCAA title, he's looking for a USA title. Me want title. Gordon, there's also a new series debuting this really? week called Hitting Streets Road Race of the Week. This week it was the Carlsbad 5K. Uh, Debabo wins at 1448, two seconds off world record pace. Lowey also wins at 1331. And Bernard Lagat, another Masters world record, 1340. James, we have another segment I'd like to introduce to Run Junkie. It is called the Underage Performance of the Week. That's right, out in Jamaica, Kingston College's Akeem Bloomfield ran the fastest time ever by a person under the age of 18 in the 400. He ran 44.93. So fast, Usain Bolt had to give him a little shout out on Twitter. Hey, Gordon, another segment debuting oh. this week, the In Case You Missed It of the Week, where we talk about things you missed because you were not watching track and field. Shelby Houlihan runs 414 at the Pac-12 Big Ten meet, as well as Collins Cabet running 146. Austin Tamagno runs 406 at the meet of Watch champions. Watch out. And Jeremy Rohner debuts at the 800 meter distance running 143 at Bobcat. 143? 53. Come That's on, don't be sense. silly. All right, we got another segment we want to introduce. It's called the Let's Talk About Cross Country of the Week because we had the World Cross Country Championships where USA kind of disappointed. The men got seventh, the women got fifth. Derek was the top finisher. He finished in 24th for the men. Sarah Hall, coming back after that LA Marathon, comes in 20th. So some nice performances there, but the team-wise, it was not like it was in 2013. Here's to 2017. Hopefully they can do better. Are you saying cross country's back? Welcome back. Well Stop it! Hey James, we have another segment I would like to introduce. It's called the Pen Relays Update of the Week. We'd like to announce on Monday, April 6th, we're going to have a live selection show where we're going to announce the individual high school entries live on Flowtrack. You're going to find out if your high school is going to be at Pen Relays. It's, it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be a great day. <laughs> we have a brand new series called the Flow Pro Series of the Week. Ryan Hall, Woo! Resurrection. Here's a sneak peek. And this is where the artistic side comes in. I always say running is a mix of science and art. So is pancake making. So Now let's keep these of the weeks rolling. We got another one coming at you. It's called the Eric Jenkins is running the 10K of the week. That's right. We're going to be live at the Stanford Invite. Where we're going to see Eric Jenkins debut on the track in the 10K. First time ever with his teammate, Mr. Edward Cheserek. Now last year we did a little contest called hashtag Chen's run, Ches runs. We get to predict what he could run. And Mac Fleet surprisingly was only 0.06 seconds off. There might have been a little collusion there, but... If it was good last year, what should we do this year? So we're going to have the Mac Fleet Prediction Contest of the Week, a new series. So don't forget to hashtag Chez Runs and hashtag Jenkins Runs and predict your their winning time or their time. Their time. Just in time. Are they going to hold hands? Are they going to hold hands they, when they cross the line? Don't, don't hold my Okay, anyway, that's not the only thing going on at San Fernando Invite. We also have Larry DeLay, Andy Bear, Lopez Lamont, Emma Bates, Kate Avery, Dom Scott, and more A&M sprinters are coming up there. It's going to be great. All the best track. I think all the top 10 lists in the country are going to be changed because they're just going to say, stand for, 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 stand for,